Are you guys also looking for a build of Jinx, which has very high damage dealing capabilities, attack speed, and can even penetrate through the defense of any champions? If you guys are looking for those kind of builds and runes for the Jinx, well, you have stumbled upon a correct place. Because in this video, I will show you a build and runes for the Jinx, which will fulfill all those categories. Not only that, I will also show you the itemization process, how do the item works, what kind of item you can exchange in the late game, and will also explain you about the runes by the way if you are new here make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get more this type of content now without wasting any time let's begin the video all right first let's begin with the build of jinx so this is the build that i would recommend you to use on jinx now i'm gonna show you how to do the itemization and also explain you about the items but if you already know about the items and how to do the itemization you can skip this part and move on to the runes timeline so in the early game, take the Durance, Blade and Potion. These two items will significantly help you to sustain in your lane. The Durance Blade give you 10 attack damage, 80 health and 3% life steal. And definitely the Potion will help you to regenerate some of your HP. These two items are quite important because in the early game, you have to sustain in your lane in order to level up and farm coins. So after these two items, the first main item that you should be buying is the Kraken Slayer. You see, in the early game, you don't really need lots of mobility because as a bottom laner you mostly farm your level and coins from the minions that's why you need little bit of damage and attack speed so to fulfill that the kraken slayer is a great item the kraken slayer gives you 45 plus attack damage 40 percent attack speed and 4 percent movement speed which is more than enough for the jinx to have a little bit of mobility and the little bit of higher damage the second item would be the berserker boots the berserker's boots is definitely for the movement speed it gives you plus 45 movement speed and and also 25% attack speed. The third item would be the Infinity Edge because as you slowly move on to the game, you need to participate in the team fight. And in the team fight, definitely you need some damage. To fulfill that, Infinity Edge is one of the best items because the Infinity Edge totally focus on increasing the damage. The Infinity Edge gives you plus 70 attack damage, 25% critical strike chance, and 40% critical strike damage. Now you have built quite a decent damage dealing capabilities on Jinx, but again you need an attack speed because when you switch from the minigun to the rocket launcher, the range of the Jinx might increase, but the basic attack speed decrease a little bit. That's why, in order to increase the basic attack speed while using the rocket launcher, the fourth item would be the Runan's Hurricane. The Runan's Hurricane gives you 40% attack speed, 25% critical chance, and 4% movement speed, which is more than enough to deal damage in the speed of machine gun. Not only that, when the enemies are close to each other, the Runan's Hurricane is very useful to deal area damage. There is one more situation where Runan's Hurricane can be even much more useful. If your base is getting completely overrun by the enemy's minion, at that time, the area damage of the Runan's Hurricane can significantly help you to clear the minion wave faster. This might be a very rare type of situation, but it is good to be aware. Okay, we have been focusing a lot on the attack speed and the attack damage. Now you need something which will help you to restore your HP. That's why the fifth item is the Bloodthirster. The Bloodthirster gives you plus 80 attack damage and 15% life steal. It is one of the most important items for Jinx. Because only focusing on attack speed and attack damage is always not good. You need something which can restore your HP so that you can sustain in a team fight for a longer time. That's why the Bloodthirster is an essential item for Jinx. Anyways, now you have got all the required attack damage, attack speed, movement speed and life steal. But there is something missing and that is the armor penetration. You see no matter how much attack damage you increase, if the enemy champion takes a defense item, it will significantly decrease your attack damage. So you need an item which will help you to penetrate through the defense of enemy champion. That's why the sixth and the last item is the Lord Dominic's regard. This item gives you 35% armor penetration plus 30 attack damage and and 25% critical strike chance which is enough to penetrate through the defense of the enemy champion and this was all about the build of jinx now it's time to move on to the runes part for the rune, we are going for the precision. The first key stone is the little tempo. When you hit an enemy champion, it grants stacks, which give attack speed. This can be stacked up to 6 times. After that, the second key stone is the presence of mine. When you deal damage to the enemy, you will regen mana or energy. And if you get the takedown, you will regen even much more mana and energy. The third key stone is the legend bloodline. When you take down the enemies, it gives you permanent lifesteal. The fourth and the last key stone is the coup de grace. It helps you to deal 
additional damage when enemies are below 40% health. In the secondary tree, we have the sorcery. The first keystone is the absolute focus. It will help you to deal additional damage when your HP is above 70%. And the second keystone is the gathering storm. After every 10 minutes, it will give you a small amount of adaptive force. So that's it for today guys. And before I end this video, I'd like to extend a huge thank you to Madness for providing me the amazing clips of Jinx. Without you, this video would have been totally incomplete.